Hello, good afternoon, 17th Sunday. Today I wish to talk about the list comprehension in Python. It is a very convenient way to filter a list. Now I'm going to illustrate with a simple example and also my real life example that I normally work um, daily or weekly on the news extraction from the internet and sometimes when I got the list, I may have to filter it to a certain criteria. <coughs> and using Python is an excellent tool. Also editing Python using Emacs is a very enjoyable and uh, convenient way of the editing. Now, I got the news already <coughs> via web scraping. Uh, news here and that is the news uh, starting from uh, is about the current week and from 12 I mean for the the past week the past seven days of all the news involving uh, toys <coughs> that is every while and you know we can in Emacs we can have a CSY align mode and you can see it much easier. I got a title extract and with uh, the link is on. Okay. <coughs> now I have my uh, own uh, class on the how to extract it into a variable <laughs> that I... The detail is not that important because uh, many people will know how we do it. It's just like a read a file and then uh, write it <coughs> into a variable. <laughs> Then I have this one, I can print the lines. Okay, that you can't. Each line does mean now is a variable, a list of variables. <coughs> but we can see the several news at uh, 12, 13, 14. Suppose I'm interested uh, only on the days of 14. Or you may interest it only in the news from the United States or from India or China, whatever. Or you may be, yeah, <coughs> main in India. Or uh, about a certain kind of toy, but some toy gun, for example, or a kind of uh, whatever thing you want. Okay, so now, just an example I would, um, I would, uh, Okay, and I. Okay. I will take the example that they want the list of this criteria of the day, the 14th of April. And this is very, very convenient, just a li one liner. If the meet in the conditions that we have the list. Okay, and I try. <coughs> yeah. So we get only. So we get only on the 14th, only two news that I put the date, April of um, the 14th of April. <coughs> I'm uh, a very bad in memory, and normally for this kind of structure, it may be difficult for, for me to remember. So I use Emacs abbreviation. <coughs> it has very useful tools. abbreviation where is that mm, no 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 that abbreviation I, I use the list pulis then I saw that so it's just a kind of very good reminder uh, then I when I want when I want to do anything about this one, I would just say pulis, and I would get a structure immediately. Then I just change the name of my variables. In this case, it's twenty twenty zero four one four. <coughs> um, they can do f uh, something on this. For example, you, you just get the the. Okay. Okay, then I only get the. Uh, no, 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 no. But anyway, just uh, you can do some manipulate something on this. But uh, <coughs> I, I, at the moment, I have the full information next year and the attributes. I change it to list name, 
and the condition. That is interesting. We can use a simple in, or we can use red x. For example, I use red x. Also, I'm very poor in the memory for red x. I also use the abbreviation. <coughs> I import the uh, red x first. And I p and the keyword you like. Okay, so it say if we compile at the pattern yeah. and a pattern I would say um, okay twenty I start at beginning twenty two space zero okay as death Okay, so that is the uh, red X regulation, and this one I was, uh, and you th thought all that. And the third X measures the X here. I don't need the grouping because I just consider consideration uh, of the condition. So, did uh, another way using red X for some. Uh, very very complicated because you can do a lot of uh, combination of that pattern but that's my now it's the illustration it's just uh, the date okay <coughs> so so it also work for red X so regular expression no it doesn't work I sorry, I, I forgot about the fourteen. <coughs> so it work, okay. So they can either use a simple in statement or regular expression. <coughs> of course, for simple criteria we can just use the in statement will be much more it's much simpler and concise but if for some very complicated criteria you may have to use regular expression and uh, for such a useful formula it all be memorized by heart uh, it's not for me because I really have a very bad memory and I would use uh, regular um, I would use uh, Emacs abbreviation facilities and that's very very useful if you haven't used Emacs, maybe the time to look to to try it. Of course, I miss VI. VI is a, a very nice editor as well. But <coughs> for for the last uh, I would say decades, that I've been using Emacs more because it seems to be more powerful, and more logical, in all the lips code. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know that is uh, my sharing of the list comprehension, and uh, which I look forward to talk to you later in the next uh, few days. Thank you, Brian, for listening to my talk.